leaded me in the paths of righteousness. This word is used in Jeremiah 23 verse 6. In his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely. And this is the name whereby he shall be called the Lord of righteousness. Somebody give God a praise in here. Jehovah Shama. The Lord is thee. For thou art with me. Oh, somebody praise God. This name appeared in Ezekiel 48, verse 35. It was round about 18,000 measure. And the name of the city from that day shall be the Lord is thee. Pastors and bishops, can you help me tell Nostra Avenue that the Lord is here. Somebody said Jehovah Shammah. Somebody said Jehovah Shammah. You might just speak in tongues if you do. Is there anybody here that needs a Holy Ghost? I wish I had a Holy Ghost search. Jehovah Shammah. Jehovah Shammah. Jehovah Shammah. The Lord is here. Verse 5, Jehovah Nissi, the Lord our banner, refuge, our standard, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. This is used in his Exodus 17, 5, Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nissi. Verse number 6, Jehovah Chira. The Lord see or provide goodness and mercy shall follow me. This name is used in Genesis 22 verse 14. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Shire. David said with confidence and explicitness the Lord is my shepherd. He does not say the Lord might be my shepherd or is a shepherd. No, David states he is. He is. The Lord is. Somebody give him a praise. The Lord is our shepherd. We do not look at him as a shepherd. He said, my sheep know my voice. And they follow me. Sheep is never put in the front and pushed to go on. Sheep follow the shepherd. What an obedience. What a character. Did you hear me? I want to ask you tonight before I start. Whose voice are you listening to? We see in Genesis what another voice can do to a well-balanced life. A life that has everything to its comfort. God speaks to Adam. And he said, I'm going back to my throne above. Where I sit and reign as Lord of all. Can you just occupy? And the Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to dress it. Not to dress himself off it. But to dress it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And the Lord said, I command you, man, every tree of the garden which may is free, you may freely eat. But the tree of knowledge of good and evil, do not touch it. For the day you eat, you shall die. Watch out for that voice that is speaking in your ears. 
Look at your neighbor and say, watch out for that voice. When the shepherd has spoken. Forever, O oh Lord. Thy word is settled in the heaven. Oh, yeah, my God. God said to the man, I'm leaving you a little bit. There is a boundary beyond which you don't go. Dress it, but don't step past this. Did you hear me? Hallelujah. Another voice. Enter the God. Trouble is on the way. Another voice. Creep into the fold. Danger is on. Look out. Hallelujah. Satan enters. Oh yes. And he said. This is just. Pastors hear me. The written word. This is what God said. I come here to give you the exposition. I come here with the commentary. I want to show you why our ministry is under problem and pressure. God said it! But let me give you the exposition. Let me show you what God really means. God knew that the day you eat, you shall not. This is my coming truth. You got to watch those voices that are bringing exposition and commentary that they themselves don't even know if it's correct because it was copied from another person who himself don't even have a shepherd ability don't even know what it's like to lead God's people can I talk to you here tonight? come on somebody the voice of the enemy continued to pound in the, the woman ear and after some time Adam and Eve fall to the temptation Whose voice? Whose voice? Whose voice? Whose voice? Whose voice? Who are you listening to? Whose voice? Nostra Avenue. Whose voice? Who are you listening to? Sheep cannot exist without man. Sheep cannot exist oh God Almighty, without somebody to guide them. You won't find sheep used as a national symbol like eagles and lions and beer. Why not? Sheep are imprudent, injudicious. If me please, they're stubborn. Have you ever seen a group of trained sheep in a circus? Have you ever seen a group of trained sheep? No, no, no. Why did the man use God as our shepherd? And why did Jesus come and refers to the church as sheep? Sheep are dumb animals. They do not learn well. They are not easily trained. They do not see or hear well. Their sight is 14 feet. Did you hear me, church? And they do not see the approach of danger. I hear you said tonight. Oh God Almighty. Come on 
on somebody. The sheep don't even know that danger is right around the corner. They will wander out of the church, wander out of the truck until they go gone astray because voices will call. Hey, hey, hey. Anywhere a group of sheep is, there's a lot of 